to this little video presentation about the curl user survey analysis 2023. I'm not sure it's so much of an analysis, but it sounds fancy, so I'm calling it that. So we did this user survey during two weeks, end of May, early June in 2023. This is actually the 10th consecutive year we're doing this, so it certainly is an annual user survey. Uh, we ask a lot of questions to users and of course we send these questions um, or we rather send the link uh, and try to nag everyone we know to go there and fill in uh, submit your opinions and tell us what you think and blah 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 but um, it is certainly self-selected in that way that we just you know contact everyone we know and, and we can get in touch with we advertise it on on the website we post it on the mailing lists and we do it. Uh, I post on my social media accounts and everything. So it certainly is users providing information, but the users who do this are of course related to curl mostly because that's how we reach them. So, and they select to give, provide their answers, right? So it's a self-selected group. So we have to take that into account when we read the answers and the responses to this. At the, it's hard. Statistics is hard and doing it this way is even, well, it's still hard. And it should be then emphasized too that this is really the only and the best way we have in the project to actually get feedback from users out there, right? Since we ship this product, we do source code, we put it online, people download it, build it, install it somewhere, run it in products, run it in services, but we don't have any feedback we don't know what they're using. We don't know how they think of it, how they, what they do with it and stuff like that. So the only way we have is to ask. We don't have any logging. We don't have any telemetry. We don't, we don't even have logging on the website. We don't know what users are doing with curl or looking for help with and so on. So here's the annual survey. We ask people, people tell us. We try to read uh, the tea leaves, put everything together and understand our users and developers what do you want what do you think what should we do what should we stop doing so yes curl is 25 years uh, this year and um, it's uh, the 10th uh, annual survey i should also just add uh, the same thing i added in, in the survey document here that we we host this form on google which is also i know then debated because then someone says i refuse to do anything with google so people a subset of people will then refuse to fill in the survey because we host it on google i've sort of been looking for an alternative that's not google that is at the same sort of feature parity and cost parity but i haven't found any one before someone pointed out one for me uh, the other week so i think there are options maybe switch to another next year i don't know um, keep that in, in in the back of your head at least so this year i, I tried to sort of yes let's spice this up and take five include five quick uh, sort of takeaways big facts that we could reveal in this analysis so i worked on it and i could really only find four so i added the fifth uh, anyway even if it wasn't any sort of big thing so the, the big the the one of the points i have here in the beginning of the analysis is the, the the interesting fact that the results vary very little year to year people basically answer the same things year after year after year uh, which uh, you, you may think that's so sort of that would be obvious if it was the same people answering so ba basically you and me you know we think the same thing next year so we would answer the same thing next year but according to the survey roughly 70 percent of the uh, respondents they didn't answer last year and 70 percent didn't answer last year every year so there's a fair amount of rotation here in people who are actually answering but the people who are answering are still answering pretty much the same sort of you know uh, statistically uh, on sort of even out evened out so the the larger part sort of what we could see there are some bigger changes this year compared to last year one of the biggest is that people have suddenly left twitter and joined mastodon as in as in uh, social media or in communication channels something whatever you want to sort of 
how you want to phrase it, what you want to call it. So people are actually saying that they follow, for example, yeah, I've, I had, a, had this question, do you follow, how do you keep up with the curl projects or whatever it says? And one, one of the options is um, follow Daniel's Twitter account and follow Daniel's Mastodon account. And that has switched around big time. So last year, a lot of people followed Twitter. Now this sort of um, Twitter fell through a lot and Mastodon climbed a lot. And the same thing is when people ask. So asking people where they want to have more curl communication is the same thing. Twitter down, Mastodon up. Um, Windows 11, of course, that's, that's not a big surprise that uh, out of all curl users that are using Windows, so we ask it, so did you use curl on Windows? On which Windows versions did you use curl? And of course, Windows 11 is the new Windows thing, so it's no big surprise that 11, Windows 11 is now the second most used Windows version for curl. Uh, but still, uh, still a big bump from last year. I think I have some graph with these things as well. One thing that I find most interesting, well, very interesting, at least uh, that HTTP3 is used by over a quarter of all curl users. I th uh, so it's a very commonly used feature, even though it's still experimental and it's still, you know, early days in terms of curl support. So very fun. And, and hopefully we will go and can remove, hopefully we will remove that experimental tag later this year. So anyway, uh, we got 606 answers this time, or responses, or however you want to call it, which is up 28% from last year's 473. So f last year was really, if you look at these um, these bars, so last year uh, was really a low uh, thing here because it was the lowest since uh, 2017, or even 2000. That 17 was even more, so it was uh, since 2016, pretty much. So up a little again uh, a little now again so that's cool it's really hard to tell why we have these variations in, in number of respondents but um, again it's, we don't know we ask everyone uh, we're grateful for the answers we get so pretty much and asking them did you answer this last year this survey well as you can see here on the graph most people say no. That's the red area here. Uh, the green ones are the yeses and the blue are the I can't remember. So as you can see, the I can't remember rate that sort of has grown a little bit, but it's around 15% of people can't remember. About 15% said they answered it and the rest, uh, they didn't answer it last year. So year after year, and what is fun is that this then this distribution is even though even though the number of respondents, uh, the number has sort of shifted quite a lot, right? Up, up in 2015, down, up, 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 but still the rate of did you answer last year remains. People who answer this survey come from Europe, 56 percent, um, and if you look, well. 56% come from Europe and 23% comes from North America. And that has also remained very similar year to year. Um, so that is just, I don't know, interesting, just a fact. That's just how it is. So I think it also reflects a little bit of our developer community, which sometimes feels very Europe centric. Uh, so I don't know why or how, but uh, so this is just how people have answered. And what can, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm not sure exactly why I'm asking this question, but I think it's interesting to see where people, or what kind of people are using curl. So that's why I have this question. What kind of user are you? Backend developer, sysadmin, app developer, or shell user, web developer, blah, blah, blah. And so people answer, and clearly most people consider themselves backend developers or sysadmins or app developers, as you can see here, uh, as a kind of curl user. As, uh, um, but a lot of people also uh, say others and fill in something else. So clearly putting this label on people, that's not easy. Most people have, or a lot of people have their own ideas of what they are, so they don't sort of label themselves as one of these things. Uh, I, I like the fact that we have curl de developers here, uh, and that's 1.7% of the respondents. So yay for curl developers. So that's 
just a quick thing about who we are. I deliberately don't ask uh, for, for example, gender or age or anything like that because I, I really don't want that to be a factor here at all. So I rather, I don't, I don't even ask about it. Uh, so back into using curl. So we ask the users, the survey uh, participants, which protocols have you used with curl, say within the last two years? And curl this time has 28 different protocols. And by protocols, we actually talk, I actually use uh, URL schemes, right? So all these in the second column here, there are URL schemes that you can use with curl. And as you can see, uh, looking here, what people have answered, HTTPS 98.5% of all users. So there are users who don't use HTTPS with curl, uh, apparently 1.5%. Um, and then on and on. So we can see clearly HTTPS and HTTP are very well used. We knew that. But also FTP is still over a quarter of the users and so on. What's what I found interesting, um, maybe it should have been on one of these uh, top five uh, findings, is that the WSS here, that's WebSockets, right? S secure WebSocket, WebSockets over HTTPS, is on place nine. And this is the newest protocol we added support for, right? So I added support for this in October. It's still experimental, but I still find it interesting that 7.5% of users say they actually used WebSockets with curl yeah, within this first year. Yeah, that's cool. And, and the, the one without uh, secure is at 1.7.1% on, on place 11. And the, le most <laughs> the least used protocols are TMPS, DICT, and Gophers. Gopher S, I should say, the S version of Gopher, because Gopher is at 3.2, but only 1.5% uses the TLS version. But yes, yes, of course, people mix up FTPS and SFTP. There are <laughs> there and there, 15% and 13.6. Since people constantly confuse them and mix them up, we don't really know which <laughs> how to how to qualify this. Maybe this is real numbers, maybe they're not. I'm not sure it matters too much because uh, a little bit variance it doesn't really matter. This uh, in, um, sort of these, this list of top protocols, they have remained the same, sort of the top seven here. They have been the same protocols for a very long time. I'm not sure number eight is the same, but still, I find it interesting that IMAP S is there. 7.16% of all users are actually on one of these email protocols. So um, looking if sort of putting them in a graph year to year and see how they have changed in number of users who are using these protocols. Again, very stable selection. We can see that in 2018, HTTPS became the more prevalent protocol. And since then, it has been the most used one. So HTTP slightly afterward. And there's a long gap down to the second most used protocol, FTP. And we can see that FTP has uh, shrank a little bit in use it was all it was up at in, in the 40 range back in 10 years ago and now it's down in the 25 range something it seems to be um, maybe a trend but as we can see in this graph it f did most of the falling nine eight years ago already so uh, hard to say um Right, most people selected, uh, or rather the average person selected 3.553 protocols, which is interesting. And, and three users insist that they have used all 28 protocols, so they selected them all. I think there is a reason to doubt that anyone actually did that, I, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. When it comes to where people are using curl, that is all always interesting, right? So um, most people, when I talk to people, at least ordinary people think about curl as a command line tool and, and they use curl in Linux and Windows and Mac, but curl as a library, of course, exists uh, and runs in a huge number of places. I have collected a selection of operating systems 
over time where I've been told that curl has run and this is that list 92 ones at this point in time this is from a curl presentation uh, I've done this particular slide and um, looking at the top platforms over time they as well remain very solid ones at least if you, if you look at these these are these top six ones and and, it, and the top one of course uh, being almost a hundred percent with 90 something uh, is Linux so Linux has remained and remains the number one platform you know, people are using curl on and with um, while uh, Windows became the number two one back in 20, uh, that, 2018, yeah. So Windows is now number two and Mac OS, as we can see, it has shrunk a little bit over time, and it's, but it's number three. It's still way above uh, Android, FreeBSD and iOS. And we can see that this year, for some reason, the Android rate bumped a little bit maybe that is a trend maybe it's just an anomaly we'll see in the years to come if, if it keeps on yeah, on that level or not on average then people selected 2.5 platforms um, in their answers which is I mean maybe it says something um, looking at the particular table what where people are using uh, curl we can just see that it goes down. I showed you iOS there at 9.3%, but then we have more and more and more and more, all the, all the way down to 0.3% on IRIX. Of course, that becomes so small, so maybe someone is using it there. I am, maybe not. And then there's an, an, an free form alternative that says other, so people have actually selected other operating systems as well. But they're at that one, you know, one user actually maintained that they have it on, well, different particular platforms. I don't think any of them were significant enough to actually appear as a pre selected option next year. So, and when, when I ask about platforms, I ask about how many platforms do you run curl on? And ask so do you use it on one platform two to three four to five or more uh, and it turns out that most people they say that they use curl on two to three platforms which I think it's interesting so um, and it matches sort of the previous question as well so it, it seems to at least correspond so people use curl on many platforms and, and maybe interesting is that the four to five graph bumped a little bit this year so it climbed a little bit while the two to three uh, went down a little bit maybe that's a trend maybe not we'll see we'll see again in a few years to see if this was just this year or if this is going to if there's something that has changed so I, I, I started out by saying talking about Windows versions so yes Windows 10 is uh, this top blue one and the Windows 11 one that was introduced last year um, keeps climbing or it, it actually got in on a high level last year but it's an even higher level now so Windows 10 mostly flatlined and you, as we can see the other Windows versions are all falling but interestingly enough as you know with all tech things never stop getting used right so Windows versions people say they are using curl on we have all the way down to Windows 95 um, these days I don't think you can build curl for Windows 95 so if you use uh, um, you have to use an old version I believe but still interesting that um, even if 95 is a lie 98 it has also users Windows CE embedded and you know Vista and Windows 2000 all of these really old Windows versions are represented in this list Windows XP 4.6 percent of Windows curl users on Windows asking users where what how they build curl it has turned out to be a boring question mostly boring because it's completely identical answers from year to year um, of course 60% don't build curl at all of the people who answer which I think mostly just says something about the community that answers the question so the 40% build curl 
out of the of the people who answer questions. So that's certainly not a, a representative selection of humans uh, in, in general, right? Uh, but anyway, so um, configure is by far the uh, most popular build tool or the build way to to build curl. Moving on, features. So I have this fun thing to ask uh, ask questions to learn about what features people are actually using you know what is coming what is going what's sort of are people still using this when i have introduced features are people actually using this whatever we introduce so it's i think this is one of my popular uh, or sorry my mo my most popular uh, is most fun for me because it actually tells me how things are being used to to what extent and can we spot trends here in, in protocol and feature use? Like HTTP2 is up six, uh, to 65.4%. I shouldn't say up maybe because I think it's roughly the same as last year, but it still shows that a lot of people are using HTTP2. And I imagine that maybe even a portion of users don't even know they use HTTP2. So, so, and these are of course those who know. HTTP proxy at 33%, a very high rate, I would say automatically automatic decompression 28% that's I like the fact that it seems that people actually know about it so you have sort of knowledge and using it HP3 mentioned before 26.9% of the users very high number since it's still uh, experimental using libcore multi-threaded that's this is one of the things I, I I use some some of these features to sort of pull and if a lot of users are using these things, maybe we should concentrate, you know, fine tune that feature more, ask more about how to improve that, because certainly it, it shows that users are using these things. So maybe we should make them better because clearly people are using them. So that's one of the questions I'm asking about multi-threaded, but because I have this idea in the back of my head that we should improve how, th how to use libcurl in a multi-threaded environment. So more SOX proxies, HTTPS proxy, 20.7%, uh, amazingly high number. Um, <laughs> I, I do remove options from this list every now and then. So HTTP pipelining, I removed a while ago, actually, since we removed it from curl. Uh, I'm not sure I removed it the same year, but anyway, I, I don't, you can't enable it. Well, you can enable it, but it, it won't be used because it's not there. So, and you, as you can see, a lot of features, and I think most of them are actually used at a fairly high degree. So I would say that even sort of, I, w I was surprised HSTS at 15% and um, old service even at 5.6%. I think that's a rather niche feature, but it's still fun to see that it's being used. The share interface at 5.2%. So, and most of those, again, pretty much the same rate as previous years. So they seem to be solid, well, except for HP3 then, because it's fairly new. So that is uh, on the rise. Uh, TLS backends, always a fun topic. So we support 14 ones this year. The latest one being AWS LC, which is a open SSL fork by Amazon. Uh, and it's very easy to support, so it's, uh, but as we still count it as a different one since it's blah, 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 blah. So 14 different ones, which ones are people actually, which one are they actually using? Uh, and I, I think it's fun because of course, first it's fun because 26.2% say that they, do, they don't know, which I think is a good thing because it's actually good, I, good, good that you don't feel that you have to know what kind of TLS or which flavor of TLS you're using in your curl, because that's part of the point with curl and it's supposed to abstract that away. You shouldn't have to bother about it. Uh, I know we fail at that many times, but that's uh, an idea at least. And out of the ones who actually say that they know, so um, pretty much all of them are using <laughs> OpenSSL. Uh, and what, what's fun this year then is that there are so many OpenSSL forks. So maybe when we when people say, I use OpenSSL, does it actually mean OpenSSL as in that OpenSSL or does it mean an, an OpenSSL fork? Hard to tell. So anyway, 71.6% uh, of the users say that they use 
uh, OpenSSL, which then is 97% of those who said, who didn't say, I don't know. So f certainly sort of the king of the TLS libraries for sure when it comes to, to using curl. But from position two to seven, that's an interesting, because that's more of a race and a combat here. I'll show you this fun graph. So we can see this is the, the red one is interesting over time because that's GNU TLS. So back in 2015, when I added this question, it was um, the number two library by a margin, right? Back in 2015, but it has, uh, slow down is now shared number three while the s channel which is the windows native library has climbed up and is the clear number two these days so secure transport then also the, the green one here is then the shared three with together with gnu tls um i think maybe the gnu tl sorry the secure transport and the um, libre ssl ones are interesting because they're sort of if you can see in, in 2022 the Libre SSL one fell while the secure transport climbed and then they, that one fell and this climbed. So this sort of, it's, it's a little bit fun on, and weird, but it's the interesting part is that the, the curl binary for Mac OS used to use secure transport for a lo long time and they have switched to using Libre SSL. So I would imagine that this might be a show that, that sort of that could be mac os users using curl so because it uses more libre ssl now than secure transport so say i'm not sure who's using secure transport anymore since the native curl on mac os doesn't use it anymore and i think that was one of the primary big users someone asked about nss so nss is not in this graph because i decided to show position two to seven because they, they are the largest ones except open ssl so in this little um, graph down here we can see that NSS is still in there on 2.5 percent uh, but it's certainly not big and um, NSS is marked for removal after the summer this year so it, I think it might still happen I think the NSS users here are really really old sent OS and Red Hat installations from like 10 years ago or something because they switched away from nss as well a long time ago but there are still people using very old uh, curl versions on, on old linux distros maybe interesting is that we can see that after liberal uh, ssl boring ssl is on number eight and then the two embedded focused uh, tls libraries embed tls and wolf ssl my employer and of course, uh, interesting, I think, Russell's is there. Uh, Russell's is still marked experimental. Um, and then even more niche things. Ami SSL is a Amiga SSL library. It's another OpenSSL fork or flavor based on OpenSSL. So lots of TLS libraries and they are all used. Even the newest ones, uh, AWS LC, is someone says they're using. People have been using curl for a long time. So I ask people, how long have you been using curl? And I give them these options. One, two to five, five to eight, eight to 12, 12 to 15, no, 12 to 18. And last year, no, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, last year I added this option 18 years or more. And I think it's interesting to then to see how people answer that. And we have, certainly have users pretty much been using curl for a very long time right so um distributed pretty good i i think it's interesting just as a as a sort of an uh, people obviously have found curl over the years right so because otherwise the, we would have different sized fields so people seem to have kept finding curl and getting into learning using curl at a fairly constant rate over the years right so uh, what i what i'm interested in, what is interesting is one year or less that that's the blue one in the bottom bottom here that is has uh, shrunk to this level because it has had a fairly stable rate but now it's it's going down 
which I don't know, maybe it means nothing. Uh, may maybe it means that fewer people are actually finding curl these days, so we have fewer newcomers. I don't know. Um, and so, where are people participating in curl? Information exchange discussions. I'm being vague on purpose because I'm, I just want to see where people go when they want to find out about something or learn about something or talk about something that is curl. Um, yeah, it's interesting to th consider or think about if the pandemic and COVID and everything actually changed people or how they use curl or think about curl. So me, it's interesting. I'm not sure that we have any evidence that the sort of the pandemic had, had any impact on any of these numbers, but maybe it did. It's hard to tell. So what is interesting, what I showed you from the beginning then is the this shows this shows clearly you know one one line falls off a cliff here. That's Bagder on Twitter, which is my account on Twitter that suddenly people are following to a much less extent this year. And the conversely the other one that is Bagder on Mastodon, which is my account on Mastodon, that sort of had the opposite direction, it just rose significantly from last year. Last year it was certainly um, Mastodon was not a big thing. Now this year it's a much bigger thing since uh, all the problems with Twitter has uh, have played out. And uh, this is my blog which remains at a fairly high level. So it is interesting that people are using these. These are the most popular th channels to get information about curl. So the curl mailing lists and sort of the curl IRC and everything is further down there. Uh, this little dot here is the new option Twitch YouTube, which this is then. So if you're if you're using Twitch slash, slash I, I mean YouTube as in recorded versions, right? So I do them live on Twitch and record them and show them on YouTube. So that's that's little dot there. That is uh, that is we. We are that dot. Uh, so yeah, and those are the numbers. So I think these are, are interesting over time too, right? So especially if you look at one of these uh, mailing lists graph like this one, over 60% answered the curl library mailing list back in 2014. It is now down at uh, 20, well, what is it? 17 or something, curl library 12 even. So suddenly we can, this is a question where we can see tr long-term trends. And that's, I think that is one, one of the fun things with this survey is that we can spot these things, how we move over time, how the community and how we do things change. And, and of course, it helps us sort of just be aware and keep up and, and meet the community and everyone where, where we are and where we want to be and so on. So where do you, so um, when, when we ask people, so what should we use, which communication channel should we use more? use more sort of uh, where we are, where should we be and where should we be next year and so on. So people then pretty much ask, answer the same thing. The difference here, the, the blue versus the red, right? The red one is this year. The blue is last, uh, is last year. So Mastodon, certainly, boom, lots of more people want to talk about curl and want to see curl stuff on Mastodon. And conversely on Twitter last year, quite a big bar here fell a lot. IRC on the rise, yes, so again we're a self-selected bunch of people. I guess a, a, um, a significant share of the people who answered has have also been participating in our IRC, so uh, but sure, we are an IRC and we talk a lot about IRC, so I think IRC is good. Uh, the GitHub discussion here is, uh, with the dots here, even bigger this year. Uh, otherwise, I don't think there are any big news. There are sort of the matrix one, maybe. But I think because I added matrix as a pre-selectable option this year. I don't think I had it last year. That was sort of written in. So lots of people want to see matrix and a matrix option. I don't think I'm going to work on that myself, but uh, others are free to do that. How are people using libcurl? Which bindings? The C API bigger than ever, probably. 
it was quite a big bump from last year up a, a significant chunk and other the top the top three bindings below the CAPI are all you know well the PHP one seems to be slowly falling over the years it's, it's certainly been always been larger than this year well you know, flatline pretty much all the other ones are eh, the pi curl and the curl pp ones are i don't know dwindling a little bit the curl pp one seems to be a little bit indecisive how we users are want to use it um I'm not sure what to say about that. I think it's interesting that uh, quite a lot of people are still using accessing libcurl via bindings, of course, and it's uh, important to remember when we do things so that a lot of users are out there. And uh, there are a lot of bindings, so um, we can see that it's asking about other smaller bindings. They all get answered by some amount of people, so it's more of a question of imagination of populating the answer list and we would have gotten even more answers I, I, I'm sure um, there are many bindings I think I've counted 65 or so <clears throat> um, yeah but again that also is an answer so these top ones have remained the top ones under the C API these three ones have been the top libcurl bindings since 2015 uh, according to the respondents so i ask uh, then users how are you contributing and uh, most people are, uh, which is interesting so this is certainly this shows that the, the collection of users who answer this are not ordinary users right because almost 15 um, percent of the users who responded here say that they have filed a bug report which I guess that is not true among the general population. Just, uh, <laughs> but, but uh, that is that is uh, still cool, and that is one of the, the 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 main way people contribute is submitting bugs, and that is so awesome. Send to pull request almost as high. So I like that that we obviously have reached out and get the opinions of people that are contributing and have contributed. So that's good. And people find all sorts of ways of contributing, of course. And this is one of the, this is sort of more of a not so subtle way for me to just remind people that you can contribute in a lot of other ways. You don't have to do a specific way. Um, and a lot of users are, of course, involved in other open source projects. Again, as you can see, the, the people who answer are different every year, but they answer this every year. So 75% of all curl users are also or even more or involved in other open source projects which of course is then a reason so why I, then why what people answer the next question because then i answer why do why don't you contribute more to the current project or sort of what would make you contribute or why, why don't you do it more um, than today so um, of course that I'm, I'm sort of, and again, I'm, I'm more interested in trends here to see if things change year to year or not. But most people, of course, answer that uh, we, I don't contribute because everything already works to my satisfaction. I think that's fair, and it's a we're an old project. We do a lot of things already. I'm quite sort of sympathetic to that idea that people, for most people, curl just works. It already does all what all the things that you might want it to do. So then might not be much to contribute with or or to do then of course other things like i don't have time i i think that is interesting and also fair i mean it's a complicated life people are in, um, involved in other projects so 43 percent say they don't have time things get fixed fast enough that's almost the same thing as the first one right so also a good thing to do i don't have the energy sorry uh, that's hard to help out with right but again um, uh, I guess that's sort of that's just the world we live in I don't know the programming language we write curl in C it's a sort of a limited language these days people are not that used to it and then we hear a lot that you know the newbies the youngsters they don't program in C they go other ways so that's a limiting factor right so it's just interesting to see how or if this is going to change over time. Um, too hard to get started. More of a you know documentation, uh, 
community thing? Are we are we doing things unnecessary, complicated to to newcomers who want to? Uh, well, we'll ask more about that later, right? So, I this is a, one of the interesting questions. I think I don't like or approve of GitHub, which has reached an all-time high this year, five point three percent. One in twenty say that they don't participate because of this. Um, I think it's curious. I'm I don't know why it's been going up. I, I wonder if things like Copilot and AI and other things that have sort of reflected a little bit badly on GitHub uh, on, in recent times might have, have an effect here. Speculating, I don't know. My work or legal reasons prohibit me. I think that this is good that it remains a low uh, fraction, of course. We, want, we don't want to see that uh, go up. I can deal with the tools. And here are sort of the project doesn't want my changes. Fair. I'm not sure. I, I mean, this is the opinion of the one who actually answered. I, I question if this is true, but maybe it is. Maybe we have rejected uh, uh, things from these 1.7% of, of users, or maybe they just think that we won't uh, accept it. I don't know. I don't like or use email. I uh, this is a question from before, right? So nowadays, lots of users participate a lot without using email. So I, I'm not sure this is actually a relevant <laughs> argument, but still, I I keep the option since I've had the option around for a long time. So uh, uh, yeah, and I find it hard to work with the curl developers. That's one percent. Uh, I think it's good that we only have that at 1%. Uh, I open source and the human part of everything. I, I mean, I, I've, I tr I've come to the realization that humans and the human part, the soft things, that's the di most difficult part in, in open source, right? So as long as we are down to 1% of just think that the curl developers are difficult, then I think we're, it's, a, it's I mean, ideally it would be zero, but I think it's still low enough for, for us to not uh, be alerted. And as you can see on this graph showing year to year, yeah, it's the, it's the same thing. So the, on, the, on the following question, follow-up question, what could we do? What could we change to get more contributions from you? And that is always a fun question to ask because uh, that's, that's an encouragement for everyone to start joking about adding bugs, adding, uh, creating time machines, adding more times to the day, uh, and being worse uh, as a project. Uh, uh, don't let Daniel near the code too much and stuff like that. But I, I think all those are good and fun. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's good as long as you can joke about it and it's sort of, because then it's mostly good, right? And uh, some people this year mentioned leave GitHub as a reason or, or as a way to get them to contribute more. So I guess that's part of the 5.3% that has GitHub as a reason. Um, and then there's this um, improve the experience for newcomers as a reason. And I, I think that is perhaps the most valid ones that we saw. So if, if several people think that is, you know, they think it's hard to get into the project or they want better entry points or better ways to find what to do when they get to the project. Difficult things to approach, but still worthy. And I, uh, and we still have um, things to improve in that part. Because I, we have this question, that number 14, how good is the project and its members? And there's seven different sub questions and people rate them one to five, how good curl is at uh, these things. Security related things, attributing, attribution giving credits, bug reports, pull requests, information, helping newcomers, and, and and the favorite one that I always get a lot of people complaining about me uh, on, about complaining to me about, is the female contributors and other minorities. So people can rate this one to five, one, one from really, really crappy to five to super, so from worst to best, right? And then I uh, calculate an average from each question and then a total average from sort of what did people vote in average totally this year? And looking at the graph, um, we can see that again, people generally answer these the same way, year after year. 
we can see that they, they vary over year a little bit, but they, um, you can see that the order is roughly the same year to year. The top one being handling security related issues, which I think is great that people actually keep thinking that. Um, and in my personal opinion, I think we're doing pretty good. And all of the others are still in the same order. Um, I was, I don't have the individual tables here, but, and then sort of the you know, attribution giving credits. And I think we're really good at that. And so it goes on and on. And then the lower ones, which might be the ones that then are most worthy or, or uh, sort of something we should pay more attention to or work on harder to improve, of course, because as you can see, they've been the lowest ones. And while it's this is 3.5 and this is 4, so it's not a low score, it's still over 3.5 in general, in average. But still, this the, the orange one here is helping newcomers and the lower blue one here is female contributors and other minorities. And looking at the contribution, contributors to curl, we certainly are bad at female contributors and other minorities. I don't really know how many we have, because again, I don't want to ask because I don't want it to be a factor. And I, but judging if I, if I may guess, it looks like we have very few female contributors and other minorities. And I think I've, I've talked about this before. It's not a, a major factor for us but i think curl as m any open source project would benefit from having a larger diversity by being more different so more different opinions different eyes different mindsets different backgrounds different sort of religions different ways of looking at things that would be better for the project if we the more we are the same i think the more we tend to look the same and solve things the same way and so on i think so Therefore, I think it would be better if this little thing didn't even go further down this year. So it's even worse than last year, according to the users. But everything taken together, the total average is actually the same as last year. And the year before that is actually went down, well, I think it's 0 0.1. Yeah, it's 4.30 this year. It was 4.29 last year, and it was 4.30 um, the year before that. So at least in general, I think we're doing good, but we have, we're not, I mean, there's always areas to improve, right? Things to fix, we're, we're never done. So then we ask this question, which are, are Curl's best areas and which are Curl's worst areas? The questions have the same areas to select from, right? So you can select, is it five? I think you can select the number of them in, in the answer to the best one and the number of them to the worst one. So just to help us identify perhaps where we should focus more, right? Where we should put more efforts because the best ones, we might not need to put more efforts because we're pretty good at that, maybe. Uh, or we could monitor that year to year, right? To see that if, if people start to think that, the, for example, people actually say that the quality is our best area. And I think that's, I mean, that is pretty good, right? When, when what we do, sort of the outcome of what we do is our best. That's, I think that's pretty good. And, that, and then people say they avail it on many platforms and support of many protocols, documentation. I think that's a pretty good set of areas to have as best areas. And then of course, this is what people have asked, uh, answered the best area and very few then obviously answered test suite, website and infrastructure and the build environment. So certainly those are areas where we should put more focus in becoming better, right? Because clearly those are not our best areas. Uh, and what is interesting, I think, and I always come up with every year when asked, when provided the same set of areas, right? So some people say these are the best ones and these are the worst ones. What's the most fun things are the areas where people select both, right? So one, the same area becomes best and worst the same year, which of course is perfectly possible because it depends on your situation and, and your opinion, right? So, 
And again here, the five best areas, roughly the same over the year. So the worst areas, they tend to, be, which then was a, the build environment, which then was the least selected best one. So that makes sense, right? But documentation, one of my favorites, because it's always in, in the top of the best and in the top of the worst. So documentation is obviously, according to users, our second worst area. And I per personally, I have a hard time to see how, how it can be, because I think our documentation, while still, of course, always can be improved and lacking in, in ways and we can always be better, it is pretty good and it's pretty big and it's pretty covering most of everything. But apparently 25% identify it as one of the worst when forced to. I should also add that much fewer people actually select worst areas. Many more select the best areas. So I think it's a factor of four to one. So and the fourth and the worst areas, at least we can see over time, at least fewer people select documentation. It used to be the top worst area for many, many years. And, you, and it's at least become much better. And the build environment has sort of climbed up and become the new worst area. And of course, we haven't really made the build environment worse, I think, over the years. It basically remained the same. But anyway, OK. <coughs> Time is running. I'm, I'm, I want to get done with this. So if you couldn't use libcurl, what would you use instead? I, I think my biggest takeaway with this question or the answer to this, and these again, these are the same answers year to year, that there really is not any big competitor to curl when it comes to a transfer library that is, exists, that is portable and exists at the system level on many sort of in a lot of places. Because people say they would use code from wget, which is pretty much a way to say that you would, would write your own. Homegrown, you would write yourself your own, is 13%. 55% would use a native library in Python, Perl, or, or Ruby, or something else, which is fine if you use one of those libraries, of course, or sorry, one of those languages. But if you have a system level thing or an app or something, then that's not an option. Then people would go with the Windows native or Mac OS native none of them being a portable transfer library. The first one is possibly S S A A S I O ASIO. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, but that's not a network transport li uh, library like curl or QT has transport library. Uh, libsoup is more HTTP library, but uh, for GNOME. So yeah, as you can see, there's really no larger competitor to libcurl in that selection. And people have been selecting the same options for a long time. Which other download utilities are people using uh, instead of curl or in addition to curl? Uh, clearly people are using wget and the uh, OpenSSH tool, rsync, nc. What is interesting is I think FileZilla, FTP, I guess that's just the normal FTP client in, in a Linux distro. Um, WinSCP has actually uh, shrunk a little this year, but otherwise, you know, see, this is standard set of alternatives. I would guess that you should use the tool you want to, to get the tool and got to get the job done. And these are all capable, good options to use. Which of these features would you like to see curl support? So I'm asking. So I like I like throwing a lot of options to users. Would you like one of these? It's easy for to just say yes, right? And I guess people do that to a large extent. I don't really know what when I would use it, but sure, I want that, and I want that, and I want that. And the top one, more JSON. I don't know exactly what that would mean, but clearly people are interested in JSON and they want more JSON support. They could imagine more JSON supported curl. 33.7% would. And then I added other features that we have discussed, could potentially do, blah, blah, blah. These yellow ones are new for this year. So, and I've found it interesting that the parallel connection to downloads the same file to um, uh, introduce a 22.8%, and that's really, really high, I think. So that's, that's an interesting feature. Uh, recursive HTML download. Uh, this is wget territory, right? I found it interesting that 21% say that they would want it. 
that's a really really nasty thing to implement and it's a lot big job and lots of options and a lot of work and really really stepping into wget territory i'm not that keen on working on that but i find it interesting and as mentioned in the chat here yes grpc 20 percent want uh, want it there and there's been a discussion recently in, in the github discussions about someone who wants to work on it so possibly and if you want to see it happen get involved and, and make it happen because i th i think it we could make it fit it could it could be made to work with curl but we have to sort of pull it all the way through to make sure that it actually happens similarly related to, to grpc related in my mind at least is the graphql which is also a way to format stuff in data sent over http in in that way they are similar um, and yeah, and as you can see, a lot of other fun features that we could potentially work on going forward. So we can use this as a uh, recipe and get ideas here for the next year on what to work on next. And then I also, of course, asked in more free text what people want. And then I collected a long list in this document what people have provided, offered, suggested, proposed. Uh, it's a good list, it's good stuff. So also a good list to go through in the year coming to go back to and see so and which apis to libcurl will people use the same way here um, people want json somehow unclear to me exactly what but people are clearly using a lot of jsons and they would like to see more json support help i'm not sure exactly how but we get to that and then of course the what question do you want to see next year um a lot of jokes but some good uh alternatives suggestions and i i want to end up with this 21 anyone anything else you think we should know because and i this year i've included roughly all the answers we got 87 answers to this i did filter it somewhat and it's sorted alphabetically but anyway i i wanted it to I include this because th there is so much sort of gratitude and thanks and, and love among these comments. It's it's a great read. It's really heartwarming. So if you ever feel, um, if you as a uh, curl user developer think that people would sometimes not be happy with it, it's a great read to just scroll through and read uh, that people. Lots of people are happy with curl, and that is that is fun. And this is how this document ends and as you can see we just passed page 35 here and then i ended with my final words here at the end of page 36. this year i excluded a few graphs uh, that i actually included last year pretty much because they were more or less flatlined this is the same stuff as last year so it felt just a little bit boring to include so there's a lot of more data available in, in there and i have all the data and i think my biggest thing here is to keep that data and make sure that so next year maybe if something changes i can show you all that data and i keep that data from year to year to make sure that we can track trends and see developments so even if they're not shown in this particular version of the document they can be included uh, in the future and i have the data still so i can still you know go back and look at it and if we find something that needs attention we i can always go back and dig it up if needed so that's pretty much the curl user survey 2023 it ran for two weeks it's always been running two weeks for every year so i want to do it the same way as the previous year so I'll keep on doing them two weeks so we will be back in the spring of 2024 and do it again in in the curl user survey 2024 uh, and until then i i'm sure i will come back to the survey and and refer users back to the survey and the analysis document because there's a lot of facts and answers here that can help us sort of answer questions what do people actually use curl for what do they want with curl and how should we go on forward so thank you for watching and uh, have a have a great uh, curl um, time bye